subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Reticulated Python. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. What's the matter, Hero? Hey, stop it, Hero. What are you doing? It's just a jumping rope, Hero. Did you think it's a snake? Hmm. Why don't you look for snakes in the garden? Just bark if you find one. Don't worry. There are no snakes in this garden. That's impossible. Maybe Hero found another jumping rope. Let's have a look. What is it, Hero? Wow, it's a real snake. And it's so big. And are those its eggs? Hero, don't get too close. It could be dangerous. Don't worry, snake. I'm not going to hurt you or your eggs. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about this snake. There we go. This is a reticulated python. A reticulated python? Yep. Reticulated pythons are one of the largest snakes in the world and are found all around Southeast Asia. One of the largest? How big do they get? They can grow longer than six and a half meters in length, which is like four people standing on each other's shoulders. Normally, they eat small animals like rats and birds, but they're also known to eat dogs, cats, pigs, and even small bears. Pythons normally don't attack people, but to be safe, it's better to keep a distance. Are they poisonous? The correct word to use is venomous. And no, they are not. They are just very strong. Why do you think this python is in a cage? Some people keep pythons as pets. Maybe someone abandoned it when it laid its eggs. Poor python. We've got to get this python and her eggs back into the wild. The city is no place for her. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Katie, but the mother python disappeared and Hero needs our help. Let's go and find Hero. No, Leo. Hero led the hippo away from here to protect us. Hippos are extremely aggressive and too dangerous to follow. You're right, Katie. Hero knows what he's doing. He should be fine. Let's look for the mother python then. If there are hippos, there should be water around. The mother python could be there. We didn't find anything. Normally, it's Hero who helps us find what we need. Look, we're back where we started. Hero! You went back where we last saw you. You're such a smart dog, Hero. Now Hero and the eggs are safe. 
But only the mother python is still missing. There's the mother python. Let's keep a safe distance. We did it. We found the mother python. Hooray! Yay! python and her eggs in our garden. It was a reticulated python. We learned that reticulated pythons are the largest snakes in the world and that they are great swimmers. So we went to the rainforest and brought the python and its eggs back to its natural home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The yellow-eyed penguin. What's the matter, Hero? Did your name sign fall off? Oh, hi everybody! My name is Leo. I am a Junior Ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. <coughs> oh yeah, the name sign. Don't worry, Hero. I'm sure we can fix it. Hey, was that a penguin? I think it likes your doghouse, Hero. <coughs> Shh! I think you're scaring it, Hero. Hi, penguin. Don't worry about Hero. He won't bite. Oh, you have yellow eyes. This must be a very special penguin. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Don't be shy, penguin. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. This penguin is called a yellow-eyed penguin. It is one of the rarest penguins in the world. That means there aren't many of them left. Yellow-eyed penguins are only found in parts of New Zealand and some islands around it. Wow, so we're very lucky to meet one. What do they eat? Yellow-eyed penguins eat fish and squid, which they catch in the sea. However, their natural home is in the forest of New Zealand. So after a day out at sea, they return to their nests deep in the forests. Since yellow-eyed penguins are endangered, it's important that they have more babies. That's why this penguin should live in a place where there are other yellow-eyed penguins. Which means we should take it home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Look, Leo, there are two yellow-eyed penguins there. They are making the loud calls Ranger Rocky told us about. A yellow-eyed penguin is shouting, too. The people here call the yellow-eyed penguin hoi-ho, which means noise shouter. So they call them hoi-hos. Hey, what's that? Oh, no, there are two tourists over there. And they are taking photos. The penguins are running away. They must have been frightened by the camera flashes. Leo, we have to stop them from coming too close to the penguins. Hero, where are you going? There he is. Maybe we can use sticks to build a fence. A fence could stop the tourists from coming closer to the penguins. Hmm, no. That would take much too long. Yeah, you're right. I know. Do you have markers, Leo? Yes, I do. Here. Hero, I think we'll need one more stick. Great idea, Katie. 
Let me help you. There! That should do it! And there's Hero! Just in time! Yes! It's working! Hooray! Look! The penguins are coming back! Look! There's another penguin! It must be our penguin's mate! We did it! We found the yellow-eyed penguin's home! Great job, everybody! Hooray! Yay! We found a yellow-eyed penguin in our garden. We learned that the yellow-eyed penguin is rare and endangered and that they live in the forest. So we took it back to its home where it can be safe. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Goliath Bird Eater Spider. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, I'm gonna explore the garden. I'll be using my magnifying glass to look out for interesting animals. Let's go. Hey, look at this. It's a spider's web. It's the spider. Spiders spin webs to trap insects for food. Let's look for other interesting animals, Hero. Look, it's a hole in the ground. Maybe a rabbit lives here. Listen. I hear the rabbit coming out. Here it comes. Yikes! That's not a rabbit. That's a huge spider. Better keep a distance, Hero. I've never seen such a big spider before. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, spider. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything about the spider? You're just in time, Leo. This is a Goliath bird eater spider. It's one of the biggest spiders in the world. Although it's called the Goliath bird eater, it almost never eats birds. Sometimes it eats baby birds and eggs, but mostly it eats small animals and insects found on the ground. The Goliath bird eater has venomous fangs, but it doesn't have teeth to chew with. So, after catching an animal, the spider releases juices onto the animal's body to make it soft. The animal's body will become soft enough for the spider to slurp up. The Goliath bird eater is such a good hunter that it doesn't need a web. It can sneak up and pounce on its prey. It will then bite and kill its prey with its venomous fangs. It's not deadly to humans, but it can be very painful. How come I've never seen such a large spider here before? That's because the Goliath bird eater is usually found in the northern part of South America, where it lives in the rainforests. Our garden is certainly not the place for such a giant spider. Let's bring it back to the rainforest where it belongs. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. The ground is getting muddier. The jeep might get stuck in the mud. So let's continue on foot. Okay, Leo. What was that? Oh, it's a weasel. Weasels prey on Goliath bird eaters. It's moving so fast. I think it's trying to get the spider. Oh no. We should help the spider. Come on, Hero. Let's chase the weasels away. 
Wait, Leo. Remember what Ranger Rocky said? When the spider is defending itself from predators, it can release tiny, sharp hairs that are very painful. We should keep a distance. You're right, Katie. But what else can we do to scare the weasels away? I... I don't know. I can't find anything. I don't think we can scare the weasels away with water, Hero. Whoa! What are you doing, Hero? That's a great idea, Hero. It might work if we shoot the water out our bottles. Let's do it. Shoo, weasels! Leave the spider alone! We did it! The weasels are gone! Here you go, spider. Back into the tank. Look! It's digging a burrow to live in. We did it! We found a home for the Goliath Bird Eater Spider! Hooray! We found a Goliath Bird Eater Spider in our garden! We learned that Goliath bird eaters dig burrows in the ground and that they live in the rainforests of South America. So we brought the spider back to the rainforest where it made a new burrow to live in. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Marvelous Spatule Tale. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Look, Hero, Dad lent me his Polaroid camera. Let me take a photo of you. Ready? One, two, oh, what's that? A bee? No, it looks like a small bird. Look, it has two very long things attached to its tail. How interesting. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, pretty bird. So what did you find out about the bird? Hi, Leo. This special bird is called a marvelous spatule tail. A marvelous what? A marvelous spatule tail. See the two things on its tail? Those are long feathers that end in discs or spatules. Only the male bird has those two long tails. Oh, I see. The marvelous spatule tail is a hummingbird. The buzzing sound you heard is the humming sound made by the fast movements of the wings. Normal birds flap their wings up and down, but hummingbirds turn their wings in circles. This allows them to hover in midair and fly left, right, up, down, backwards, and even upside down. Marvelous spatule tails are only found in the forest edges of northern Peru, a country in South America. Unfortunately, there aren't many of them left. That means we have to take this marvelous spatule tail home safely. Come and join us. Yeah, let's do that. See you downstairs. The spatula tail is not moving at all. Oh no, is it okay? Hmm, when hummingbirds can't find food, they go into a deep sleep. They do that to save energy. They use a lot of energy for flying, so they always need nectar from flowers. So the marvelous spatula tail is hungry, but there are no flowers with nectar in this place. Now the bird will starve to death. <laughs> Water? Thanks, Hero. 
But that won't be enough for the bird. It needs nectar, which has a lot of sugar in it. I think I have an idea. In some places, people put feeders in their garden and fill it with homemade nectar. So the hummingbirds always have food, even when there are no flowers around. We can use this bottle to make a feeder. Great idea, Katie. But how do you make nectar? Hello, Junior Rangers. The easiest way to make nectar is to dissolve some sugar in water. We have water, but where can we get sugar from? Here, have some of my sugar. Uh, thanks, Ranger Rocky. We can cut this bottle in half and use the bottom half to put the nectar in. Great idea, Katie. I'll take care of that. You got to be careful with scissors. There. I'll leave the rest to you, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Here is some sugar. Stir the water to dissolve the sugar. Here, Birdie, have some nectar. I hope it tastes good. It's working, Leo. It's drinking the nectar. Go get some nectar, marvelous spatula tail. Look, it's a female marvelous spatula tail. He is doing his dance again. We did it. We found the home of the marvelous spatula tail. Great job, everyone. Hooray! Yay! We found a marvelous spatula tail in our garden. We learned that the marvelous spatula tail is a very special hummingbird and that its wings move really fast. So we took it back home where there are a lot of flowers to feed from. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. <laughs>